Hi everybody, welcome to 34 Lake Road in Quispam, New Brunswick. Really nice two plus two bedroom home here, fantastic backyard too. House is uh, spotless inside, it's been very very well maintained. Uh, nice step up living room, dining room area as well with hardwood floors. Eat in kitchen, but certainly there's really no need for it because the dining room is just a step or two away. Um, one of the really nice features about this home and just about every other home in the neighborhood is that it's you know it's a mature subdivision and basically uh, it's very difficult to see your neighbors, so they're there, but it's so heavily treed and wooded that it really doesn't. Uh, you know, it, it isn't like you're right on top of anybody. Nice deck on the back of the house here. So uh, close to half an acre for a lot. Nice private setting out back. There's a little stream at the back here too. Uh, there's no issues with water in the, in the basement. The stream is well below the footings and uh, it's probably about 100 feet away from the house itself. I can just take you over there and let you have a little peek at that. So, that, you know, it's got some character uh, as far as the, uh, the outside of the property. Oh, there's some local deer. That's the uh, neighbors in the backyard. <laughs> Wasn't expecting them. Uh, there's your little stream down here. That's one of the reasons why the deer are probably uh, kind of uh, poking around as well. Property goes down basically to the stream area. So nobody's going to be building in the backyard. I think that's fair to say. Probably didn't think that you're going for a trip in the woods here today when you were looking at a video of a house, but uh, that's one of the really nice features about the property is that it's got this great private backyard. Walkout basement too. Most of the windows have been replaced and the doors. Uh, I really like the lower level. It's uh, set up as a family rec room and uh, um, has two bedrooms down on this level. I'm just going to take you around the other side. It's also plumbed downstairs. It has a half bath downstairs, um, but in looking at the plumbing, I think there's some real potential to put in a um, stand-up shower downstairs. So, uh, attached single car garage. It's good size. Walk out door there. That goes right into your kitchen. It's a garage. Plenty of storage though. And you can definitely park a vehicle in there. So pretty typical of split entries. Although it, it does have a really good foyer area. And a nice closet. So plenty of room here. Unlike some split entries where you don't have any room whatsoever when you first walk in, this one here, there's lots of it. Yeah, you've got two bedrooms down here, really nice big master bedroom and a bathroom. Your living room, dining room there. I'll start in the kitchen though. So eat in kitchen if you wish, otherwise uh, certainly room for a huge island if that's an upgrade at some point that you wanted to do. They actually had the cabinetry refinished or uh, refaced here and it looks new. It looks brand new. Dishwasher, um, probably mentioned it before, but the house is spotless. It's move in ready. No worries. Uh, laminate flooring here in the uh, kitchen. It's easy to maintain. And uh, big dining room, that's a big table. We've also got a piano in here and there's still all kinds of room. Uh, Built-in cabinet there. And right out onto the deck. Uh, 
nice big deck area, place for a barbecue down there, and some lawn chairs. You know, super, super private backyard. Step up living room, so it's kind of elevated. Um, and again, it's an excellent size. It has a uh, working wood fireplace. They've got a little alcove set up, set up here for their uh, computer. Nice ceramic tile work around that. <coughs> and master bedroom. Big closets. And another bedroom. This one here faces toward the back of the house. All vinyl windows. A good size uh, bathroom here. Ceramic tile. A newer three piece um, tub. Newer fixtures. Super clean. Laminate all the way up through here, through the hallway. Matches right into the kitchen, right into the foyer area. And downstairs, it's basically a back split bungalow, so it's really bright, sunny family room, rec room that way. I'll take a left here for now, though. Another uh, oversized room, really. There's two windows in it. So no problem to meet code for uh, for egress, to the best of my knowledge. Right where that chair is, if you wanted to at some point expand the bathroom, which I'm about to show you, um, pretty confident that you could put a shower in here. You've got a half bath right now, but there's a floor drain right underneath. And I uh, think that you could put a stand-up shower there. Be a good improvement. But it's good the way that it is too. So this room here not set up as a bedroom but definitely would be. And here's a big laundry room and some storage set tub right over there. Probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. Uh, very bright sunny finished family room rec room with the door to go right outside. quite a large room and this is set up uh, the plumbing is here just on the other side of the wall so if you did want to set this up as a wet bar you could and then we're just getting into the mechanical room there's your pump and the uh, uh, panel and some more storage down in through here hot water tank that, that's, that kind of stuff but Great views right out through here, nice low windows and looking right out into the backyard. No issues with the house, excellent shape. Uh, close to the cuplex, close to shopping, walking distance to uh, grocery stores, drug stores. If you have any, uh, there's a, I forgot to mention too, there's a really nice park for children down the street, probably uh, uh, about 750 feet away, maybe. So it's a great family area. It's a quiet street. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a call, 608-4866, or you can shoot me an email, peter at peterc21.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.